Hello my gorgeous makeup loving friends, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, hi, my name is Teresa. Look, this is an older palette, I got it on sale though. This is the Jade by Beauty Bay palette. It is 24 shades and it looks a little something like this. So this video is just a tutorial of this look and an overall review. I'm not doing any swatches because that's already been done. So if that sounds like something that you are interested in, then do please keep on watching. Welcome back to Teresa Does Another Cup Crease. I'm your host, Troy McClure. You may remember me from such hits as Teresa Tries to Do a Halo Eye, Let's See Teresa Try to Do Eyeliner, and Teresa Fucks Up the Lashes Yet Again. Anyways, look, it's the Jade Palette. Let's give it a go. I am using my Zoeva 225, and I'm going into the black shade, which is called Tourmaline. So, let's give it a go. So I'm just popping it on the outside of the eye. It has a decent amount of pigmentation, but it does blend out pretty nicely. So I was quite happy with that. My New Year's resolution is to try and do my eye makeup so that both eyes match. I feel like this will not be successful. I'm using the Spectrum B10 and I'm going into this sort of a navy blue shade. It's called Celestial. And all I'm doing is just packing that like on top of the black. I have to say, the two of these actually blend really, really nicely because initially I was like, oof, let's see what the pigmentation on this is like. I mean, to be fair, they do blend pretty nicely. I'm taking this lowest cosmetics brush and I'm going down to the kind of like next lightest shade of blue. It's called Northern Star, so it's kind of quite a primary blue. And are you surprised that I'm going to tell you that I took back it on? and try to blend it out on top of that. Now they do kind of blend together pretty nicely, which you would hope they would because they're from the same color story. Like if they're from the same color family, they should be blending out pretty easily. How much would you like to pull out your eye shape by Teresa? Yes. Like can we just put it all the way out towards where it meets the scalp? Like it's ridiculous. True look, it's grand. Then I'm using this Sigma E27 and I'm going into kind of a minty blue shade. It's called Head in the Clouds. You know, like the Mitchell palette that never bloody arrived that I paid for. One day, maybe. So I'm just putting that into the inner corner, but also blending it out towards the edge. And this has an awful lot of pigment, like, which is surprising when you think about like how pale of a colour it is. Now I'd like to see how it would perform on darker skin tones, but like as it is, I actually think it's pretty good. And if you look there at how it's merging with the previous color, the Northern Star, they do merge actually pretty darn well. So I was quite happy with that. And again, when you work it out towards the end there, they do blend really, really nicely. I'm now taking an Artitude Cosmetics brush, nice and fluffy and kind of tapered. Now this is where I think the palette falls down a little bit because I took two of the shades. I took uh, Crystal Clear, which is this blue one, and Confetti, which is this silver one. Now the problem is as soon as you put your brush into that, it just kind of hard pans. So I think you'd need like a silicone applicator for that, which I know a few people have actually commented on the Beauty Bay palettes before that they don't love that. And I don't personally mind, but I, I do think it's kind of an unusual formula. So all I'm doing then is just popping it in here to kind of give a little bit of shimmer shimmer into the inner corner of the eyelid. Now, what I will say is there's quite a bit of a thing with this and it doesn't easily um, kind of blend in with the mattes. So what you actually have to do is go over this again with the mattes to kind of cam it down a little bit because you don't want it to like, well, I didn't want it to completely take over. And then as you can see, I went for a classic cut crease, which is very unusual for me because I never ever do a cut crease, ever. I think this might be the first time I've done one. Next thing then is taking this away with 238 and I'm going into the shade Retrograde, which is quite a hot pink. And uh, I will say the pigment on this is pretty good. So it packs on pretty nicely and you start to see the colour payoff really early on on this one. There's quite a bit of vibrancy which I was quite impressed by. Reminded me a little bit of the Melt Radioactive Stacks in ways. That sort of hot pink which I really like. I like that addition of kind of like the almost neon shades in there mixed with the jewel tones. 
like when you look at the palette you kind of go oh actually there is some really interesting things in there along with like there's some like grungy earth tones of the greens that I have kind of want to play with at some point but I was like come on Teresa let's not do green today so I'm taking another Zoeva 238 and this time I'm going into 2222 which is kind of like a neon yellow. Now I have to say this one's kind of powdery and ends up a little bit patchy so uh, as far as I'm concerned this is kind of not a dud but it's definitely letting it down a bit. Okay that did actually apply a lot better than I did on the other eye. I'm taking the Sigma E36. It's just a nice small blending brush and it's totally clean and I'm going to switch between the two shades and you can kind of see then how they blend initially not fantastically so you do kind of need a little bit of work to kind of get them to ease that transition between them and you do see that kind of the yellow the 2222 kind of has a tendency to lift off and want to leave you like I don't know like it's some sort of an astronaut trying to leave the world Though it is like meant to have that celestial theme, isn't it? So maybe it's meant to do that. You can kind of see it starts to kind of go a little bit there on the lid. It isn't quite as pigmented as it initially went on. So you do have to kind of go backwards and forwards, kind of packing it on and layering it a little bit, which I don't love. Um, I think if you're looking for a similar yellow, there's a really good one in the BH Cosmetics Trendy in Tokyo that I think and it works a little bit better. I'm taking another Sigma E36 and this time I'm going into this kind of gold shade. It's called Alien. Now thankfully this doesn't go like putty when you put it on, which is nice. Um, very difficult I find to blend on the other eye, so we'll see how it goes on this particular one. Now there's kind of, when you look at it in the pan, there's sort of green reflex, which aren't as evident once you get them on the eye. So they don't pick up that great or at least the shimmers don't pick up that great on the sort of a blending brush, or at least that particular one doesn't, which is a little bit frustrating. So I actually found that I had to go in with the two shades themselves, so the the pink and the yellow, to kind of try and get them to merge a little bit better. But it isn't um, it isn't the most like wildly pigmented, and you can kind of see again the yellow is kind of shifting off kind of of its own accord, so I'll have to build that back up. I think the thing that I find the most frustrating about this shade 2222 22 is that it's such an interesting shade, but it just kind of falls away after a period of time, like it loses its vibrancy, which just, ugh. So all I'm doing now is taking the Spectrum B10 and going back into Celestial, and I want to merge that a little bit with the 2222, 22 just so it kind of, I don't know, blends out a little bit more, but again, you'll see that the 2222 just kind of mm, dissipates into almost being nothing, which is a bit frustrating. I now have a cat climbing. So I'm now taking this away about 225 and I'm going into the black shade called Tourmaline. And I do find it a little bit frustrating that um, I'm going to knock off a little bit of that pigment, that the 2222, that yellow, does have a tendency to just kind of patch up a little bit once you start to try to blend it. So it is a constant kind of battle, kind of going back and forward with this. So like I said, I'm going backwards and forwards. I'm using this Spectrum B10, and now I am going into Celestial, which is that nice navy blue again. And I'm kind of put, popping that like on top and kind of between the 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 blue and the black and the yellow just in an attempt to soften it so it's not quite as obvious. Cece is currently singing me the song of her ancestors, but I did let her in and she did just like topple things over. So sauce cat sauce. And I'm back a little bit to square one because I'm using the Zoeva 238 and I'm going back into 2222, which is the yellow, just to try and pack on that vibrancy a bit more because it has kind of gone down a little bit and again I'll have to be going back in and blending so it's um it's not as easy to work with as I would have liked and I'm just taking the B10 again and going into Celestial that sort of navy blue again and hopefully we're almost done 
And in case you're wondering, I channeled my inner Missa and I used the Sheen Cosmetics Liner in the shade Mellow. Of course I did. So that's all that's kind of left. I add a little bit, since you guys saw me, I put a little bit of uh, Soulmate just on the lower lash line. I took Affirmation, which is sort of like an orangey shade and used that as a blush. And I also used Milky Way here as a highlight. And this is what it all looks like. So I thought it would be interesting to take a little bit of the Sheen Cosmetics liner and put it onto the lower lash line as well, just to kind of try to bring it all together. Yeah, I'll take the glasses off. So obviously this is what it looks like without the glasses and your eye makeup always looks a bit different when you don't have your glasses on because you have to make it look a little bit more manic. So it's noticeable when you have glasses on. Okay, so let's actually get on to the review. So it's a massive palette, it's 24 colors. Um, I used a good chunk of them. I think one of the things that kind of bugged me a little bit is the discrepancy between the shimmers. So some of them you can go in with like a soft blending brush and just kind of sweep it across. Others, you're gonna have to go in with very much like a silicone sort of a, a brush because otherwise it just hits hard pan. And, and I had that with one or two of the shades, which was a little bit frustrating. Some of them, the pigment just kind of goes. The vibrancy is just not as there as I would like. I think particularly in respects to the shade 222, I really kind of dipped into that quite a bit to try and get it to work. I thought the shade Retrograde, that pink, was pretty darn good. Um, all in all, not a bad palette, but I don't think it's the absolute best that Beauty Bay have ever come out with. It's just not quite up to their usual thing. Not bad at all. I got this on sale for €24.50, Euro so I do think it's worth the €24.50, Euro but I don't think it's worth its original price tag of, I believe it was €35. Euro. I would say if you're looking to get this, kind of wait until it's on sale or until you have like a discount or something, because I just, I don't think it's fully worth the full price tag, but it's not bad. I'm not unhappy that I have it. But that's it. That's the whole video. Do please like, comment and subscribe. Turn on that notification bell so you can see more videos. Do please share because sharing is caring unless of course it's an STD in which case you know. Wrap it up. Don't be gross. That's it. That's the end of the video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.